In this episode, we'll be looking further into your new audio software package, Audacity. I want to show you around the interface and get you to do a few simple edits so you can advance yourself further into the exciting world of sound post-production. In a previous episode, I suggested you download Audacity, a free audio workstation. The reason I suggested it Audacity is that it's free and has a lot of common attributes to the professional digital audio workstations. It'll be your stepping stone to being able to work on the big, bold pro DAWs. So let's head in and run through the interface and a couple of edits. We'll start off at the top left and you can see a transport bar. And the transport bar is all the usual buttons that you get on your VHS, on your tape machines, on any other machine that you've probably had over domestically over the past few years. You got your play, you got your pause, you got your record, fast forward and rewind. Next to that, you have your tools section. And these are for editing. So grabbing little pieces of audio and shifting it around or taking a piece of audio from one point on the timeline and moving it to another space. There's a zoom tool so you can click and drag across, so you can zoom in on specific areas. There's also a pencil tool, which is really handy because sometimes your audio will have clicks and you can zoom right into that little bit of audio, right down to the samples, and you can draw out that click. So that's the pencil that you're looking at there. And then the star is the multi-tool, which is a combination of three or so of those tools. And we'll go through those in a second. Next to that, on the top, you'll see your meters. Now we went through meters before in the previous episode. This is where you're watching out for any peaking or your levels are too low or too high. You need to get a nice and warm, healthy level on your input. The next meter across is a output meter. So any audio that you're playing will be on that meter. If it's too loud, of course, it will peak into the red. You want a nice healthy level just over the green on your output. Just below your input meter, we have your input level and your output level. So you got the microphone and you got the speaker. So if your input level is too much, you bring that down, which means the level of the audio coming into Audacity is reduced. So you're not getting all distortion and cracking and hitting the red all the time. And if it's too loud as well, you can pull your output down. So it's literally just pull the slider and all the level will drop. Beside that, we've got some edit tools that you're used to, copy, paste, etc. If you hover your mouse over any section in Audacity, it will highlight and give you a little label of what you're looking at or what you're hovering over. Next to that are the zoom tools, and that's exactly what they are. They zoom in and they zoom out, but there's a few of them there. So you'll see yourself any part of the interface that you just mouse over, it'll give you a pop-up label. And whatever it does, it'll tell you what it does, okay? So the zoom tools, you got zoom in and zoom out. The last one is zoom out the whole way, or you can zoom in just that section, okay? As I say, you can zoom right in and zoom right out, especially with the pencil, and you wanna write out those clicks with your tools and then zoom out to the whole area. So that's from the start to the finish of your file. I say the labels are coming up. In the last um, time we looked at this, I wanted you to run through the manual for yourself so you can get a better idea of what's going on where. Now, this is just an overview to help you uh, give you a few pointers of what's where if you're kind of lost anywhere and I'll give you a brief explanation if the manual isn't explaining it to you too well. So 
Those are our zoom tools. Next to that is the playback tool. And there's a slider on that. That slider goes plus or minus. It's set at its null, which is playing back in real time. But if you want to play it back slower, you bring the slider down or you want to go faster, you bring the slider up. Okay, so then below that row, we've got the hardware section. And this is telling Audacity what hardware to use for the in and the out. So you got your, well, right here, it's called Core Audio because it wants to look at the internal system. The first drop down with the little microphone is where you select your audio interface. Are you going to use the internal um, hardware or are you going to use your external interface? The next drop down menu is saying, do you want to look at it in stereo or mono? Those are your recordings. Do you want a mono recording system or a stereo recording system? Don't worry about any other parameters right now. The next thing over is telling Audacity what hardware to use to play out the sound. And that's another little drop down menu. Next to that again is what they call the scrub tool. Now the scrub tool literally just scrubs through the audio. And when you show the scrub tool, a little bar opens up underneath the ruler there, the time ruler. I'll show that to you now in a second. And you can bring your mouse and click in there and drag it across and you'll hear it scrubbing through the audio. So that's used to find specific issues in your audio. If you're not sure by listening um, to the audio straight in real time that there could be an issue, if you scrub through it, one, it helps you find specific points in where, say it's speech, if you're looking for a specific word, you could scrub through and find that specific word in the audio. Otherwise, if there's an issue, a click or something, you can scrub across and scrub back and find yourself that specific point. And now you have the point that you can work to. And that's what a scrub tool is for. The next down, the next row is our timeline. And literally that, it's second one through to whenever the file ends. Could be 50 hours down that direction. It starts here and works across however long your project is. Then below that, we have the main edit window. And that contains all your tracks and all your audio. So we have all the menus here, but I want you to look at two specific things. First off is tracks. And these are the basics. These two things are just the basic ones that I want you to look at first off. If you look at tracks, you see add new. We have mono, stereo, and you can ignore the others for the minute. Your mono track and your stereo track, music would be a stereo track. Some location recording with a mono mic will be mono. So if you want to set up a new track, you've got to understand what you're bringing into Audacity. Is it stereo or is it mono? Or if you're going to set, do any editing with a stereo track in Audacity and you want to drop some audio somewhere else, if you're dropping stereo audio in an edit, you have to drop it onto a stereo track. The other thing I wanted you to look at is file and the simplest of things there, new. This will set up a new project for you. So make sure as soon as you open up the new project, you save it with a name that you will remember. And every single time anything you do in this, Command S in Mac or Control S in PC land, save. Just save as you go. Get into the habit of holding your command in the Mac and hitting S or Control in PC land and hitting S. Save as you go. You can always undo it, but as you go, save, save, save. <laughs> That's a little trick from 25 years of editing audio. It's the one time your computer was shut down and you have nothing saved. So to get your initial um, audio into Audacity so we can start playing with it, another thing in file that would be really important, the file menu, is import and export. 
Import is bringing your audio into Audacity so you can play with it and chop it up and move it around. When you save the project, you're only saving the project file. If you want to get the audio out of Audacity after your beautiful edit and you got everything set up and lined up beautifully, you need to go to export the audio file. And that will give you the option to export the formats of the audio. Is it a WAV? Is it an OGG? MP3? And where you want to put it. So taking your beautifully edited audio has to be exported out of Audacity. And you'll have those files sitting wherever you put them on your computer. I'm Keith Alexander and you've been watching Adorama TV. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for more great videos and tell us what you think. You can like, you can comment, or you can share this video. And please come by the Adorama Learning Center for more great information and advice.